Welcome to the third module of this course, in which we will learn how we can use Copilot in Microsoft Power Automate. Let's start by learning how to use Copilot in CloudFlows. There are three main ways that Copilot can help us with CloudFlows. First, it can help us create CloudFlows. It can also help us modify CloudFlows. And finally, we can ask it questions. For example, describe my flow and more. As soon as you go to Power Automate on the Maker Portal, you will have Copilot there for you. And the only thing you have to do is to tell Copilot what you want to build. Simply describe it in natural language as you would tell a consultant or somebody building it for you. After you submit your description, Copilot will suggest a flow for you, including the trigger, actions, and logic controls. You can review the suggested flow and either accept it or ask Copilot to give you a different suggestion. After the flow is created, you can keep discussing with Copilot and ask it any changes or additions that you might want to make to your flow and Copilot will make them for you. You can also ask Copilot questions about your flow. For example, you can ask Copilot to document your cloud flow and explain to you what it does. This can come in very helpful when you need to work with a large flow created by somebody else and you just want to quickly understand what that flow does. Now that we have talked about the theory, let's head over to the lab and check out Copilot in CloudFlows in action. We are now in the lab environment. Let me open up the browser here where I'm in the Power Automate Maker portal. On the homepage of the Maker Portal, I have Copilot here in the beginning, and it tells me, let's automate something, what should it do? And here I can enter in natural language what I want it to build. Let me type in, start an approval when a new item gets added to a SharePoint list, and then let's click on Generate. It took a few seconds, and here is the suggested flow that it built. As you can see, it added the trigger to be SharePoint when a new item is created, and then the only action is start and wait for an approval. In this case, it's exactly what I wanted, but just in case it's not what you want, you always have the show a different suggestion option here at the bottom that you can click, and then Copilot will try again and give you another flow suggestion. Now let's click on next, it will make sure that I'm connected to everything and let's go create our flow. Awesome, now I'm in the new Power Automate Designer. You can see that here it has a little warning here. It added a few things it shouldn't have. And let's fix that, it will take us one second to fix it. Let's click here, everyone must approve. Let's give it a title, please approve. And we will assign it to Vlad at globalmantics.org. This way, the flow doesn't have any errors. Great. Now you see Copilot is still here with me on the right side of the screen, so I can keep asking it to help me modify my flow. So I can go in here and, for example, ask it to add an email to the person who created the SharePoint item with the outcome of the approval. So let's give it a few seconds and see what it will add for me. We can see on the right side, let's take a look at the Copilot pane first and then we'll take a look at the results. We can see it added a condition and then added to send an email actions. Here, let's take a look at the flow now. So it added a condition here. If the outcome is equal to approve and here if yes, send an email that your item has been approved and if not, your item has been rejected. So it did a really good job. By the way, if ever it does changes you do not like or it's not what you're looking for, you always have that undo button that you can click and it will remove all of the different things that Copilot just added to your flow. But in our case here, it did a really good job. Awesome. So this is how you can keep talking to Copilot to help it modify your flow. Now, what else can we do with it? I could ask Copilot, describe what this flow does here. Let me go back to my prompt. Describe what this flow does step by step. Use a bullet point for each action. 
So we can see it kind of documented my flow. The flow is triggered when a new item is added to a SharePoint list. The flow retrieves the details of the new item from the SharePoint list. An approval request is created and assigned to the user Vlad at globomantics.org. The flow waits for the approval to be completed. If the outcome of the approval is approved, an email is sent to the creator of the item with the subject approval outcome and the body your item has been approved. And if the outcome of the approval is not approved, an email is sent to the creator of the item with the subject approval outcome and the body your item has been rejected. So it really did a good job at documenting or summarizing my flow. But I can ask it any question I want about this Cloudflow. So, for example, I can go and ask it, what are the titles of the emails sent in this flow? Maybe I'm looking for different emails. Right now, of course, they're all approval outcome. Let me go and modify them. This way we have two different titles here. So here we'll instead, let's just put here outcome approved with a happy smiley face. And then if not here, we'll put outcome rejected with a sad smiley face. Great. And let me paste in the same exact question here. So now we have two different subjects. The title of the emails are outcome approved and outcome rejected. So any question you have about the flow, I can also ask it, for example, who are approvals assigned to in this flow? And it knows to go check in the approval here and it finds Vlad at globomantics.org. So this is Copilot in Cloudflows. It can help us create Cloudflows and it can help us customize them and modify them. And it also helps us better understand the flow and we can really ask it any question about the flow that we want. So this is it for Cloudflows. Now let's go back to the slides and learn about desktop flows.